Okay, so punta tayo dito sa uh, effective stress. So considering meron tayo ditong uh, soil particle, so meron siyang mga solid solids tsaka water, no? Sa voids niya, no? So yung water is ito yun yung i-push away yung mga particles, no? Parang ganito yung magiging itsura niya, no? From being compact. So since may liquid, so ito yun yung parang electrify yung soil natin, no? So, 'yun, no. 'Yun yung deter uh, 'yun yung concept dito sa effective stress. So, yung net uh, stress dito sa dalawa, 'yun yung uh, effective stress, no. Considering meron tayo ditong soil sample, no. Then meron tayong water dito. So, yung uh, yung solids, uh, meron yung mga total stress, no. So, and then yung water is magi exert yan ng tinatawag nating neutral stress or the pure water pressure so yung difference nila uh, that is the effective stress okay so napaka importante yung effective stress na to and number one to na concern natin bakit kasi yung effective stress determines yung uh, stability ng certain ma uh, yung certain na uh, soil material mo no so kung mas malaki yung effective stress mo Ibig sabihin, no, mas malaki yung strength niya, no? Yung makaya niya. Okay? So, yung mainly concern lang man natin dito is yung dry or uh, dry unit weight, di ba? If, in the case of uh, submerged, so, yung buoyant, no? Ang um, apply natin. Kasi yung buoyant is uh, saturated unit weight minus the density of water. No? Kaya, yun yung ginagamit natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung yung effective stress is in function of the buoyant force times yung height. Okay? So, pwede rin ganyan. So, this could be uh, take note yung density na gagamitin natin na pwede rin dry kung wala siyang uh, kung wala siya dun sa groundwater tipon. Okay. So So effective stress is uh, often affected by the poor water pressure or yung water. Uh, the more saturated yung material, the more weak yung material, no? Tsaka yung less yung effective stress niya. Okay? So I hope clear okay. Anyway, yung formula niya is sobrang simple lang naman. Total stress minus the neutral stress. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin total stress, yan yung mga pressure present in the material, yung soil natin. While yung poor water pressure, yan yung mga uh, pressure or the neutral stress caused by liquid. Okay? Kung water yan, so yung water. Sige, so apply natin to, dito. So, for a uh, given uh, soil profile as shown, Calculate the total stress, the pore water pressure, and the effective stress at point A, B, and C. Kunin ko lang daw. Paste ko na yan dito. Solution. So, lating ko na lang ito. Okay. So, project ko lang muna ito. Project ko lang muna ito. And then, yung ito. Project ko lang din. Tsaka yung ito. Okay, so i-plot ko muna yung total stress. So, ito yung sa total stress. And let's say ito yung sa neutral stress. And let's say ito yung 
sa effective stress. Okay? So, at the natural grade line, so, yung total stress niya, since it's walang over, uh, since walang surcharge data, no? or any force, or any uh, additional material like uh, uh, fill material, so, wala man. So, automatic zero. So, zero to. Walang water. So, zero. So, zero. Next is yung B. Okay. So, yung total stress dito sa B is just uh, dry. Okay. Uh, kunin ko na lang. It's just dry times yung height. Okay. From height nung A to B. So, we have 16.5 times 3 and that is equal to 49.5 kilo pascal so meron na tayong 49.5 so sure ka na lang nung ganyan So, dito, since walang water dito, walang ground water table, so zero lang kasi walang water. So, yung difference nila, 49.5 minus zero, so automatic, 49.5. Okay? So, yung neutral stress for B is zero. And then, yung effective stress for B is just 49.5 minus 0. And that is equal to 49.5 kp. Okay? So, nakikita mo na in function siya sa dry. Yung sinabi ko kanina, pag walang water. So, this is equal to 49.5. So, connect lang natin to. Next. At point C, dito naman, at point C, so yung total stress niya is just, uh, dito na ako na, no? so dry pa rin, times yung height from natural grid line to point C. Okay? So yung natural grid line natin is point A. <coughs> so thus we have 16.5 times 6 and that is just equal to 99. KPE. So, this one is 99 KPE. Okay. So, connect ko lang yan. So, yung neutral stress ng point C is just equal to 0. Kasi andito siya sa groundwater table. No? Di ba? Pag andyan ka sa groundwater table, 0 pa rin yan. No? Kasi wala ka pang depth eh. Alam mo naman na uh, yung neutral stress is in function of gamma water times height. Ah, wala tayong height eh. Kasi andyan dyan sa groundwater table. So, expected this is equal to 0. Kaya, 0 pa rin. Okay. And then, yung uh, effective stress is we have 99 minus 0. So, we have 99. KPA. Okay. So, 0 pa rin dito. And then, dito is 99. Kone ko lang yan. Next. At point D, dito ko na ilagay. So, yung effective stress is just uh, dry times yung height niya na 6 from A to C. A to C plus since andito na tayo sa groundwater table, so gagamitin ko C saturated na no? total tayo eh, saturated times yung height from C to D okay? so yung kinuha natin is yung stress dito sa T so thus we have uh, 16.5 times 6 plus 19.25 times 
13 so thus we have uh, 349.25 kilo pascal so dito na lang no? 349.25 so connect ko na yan so ito na yung uh, stress diagram nya Next is yung neutral stress dito sa point D. So we have uh, density of water times yung height ng water to point D. Okay? So we have 9.81. Then yung height ng water is itong height ng groundwater table from D uh, up to the impermeable layer. So yan yung 13. Okay? So, thus, yung sagot nito is just equal to 127.53 kilopascal. So, ito na yun. 123.53. So, connect ko na natin yan. Okay. So, yun na yung sa neutral stress. Lastly, yung effective stress is just equal to uh, total stress minus the neutral stress. So, we have 349.25 minus 127.53. So, total stress, uh, effective stress is just equal to 221.72 kilopascal so this is 221.72 so connect lang natin to. so assuming yan wait lang dito na lang yan ito yung 99 and then 221.2 ok so ito na yung uh, effective stress So, yan. Yan na. So, yung effective stress na yan, uh, pwede, din mo, uh, pwede mo rin isolve yan gamit yung ganito. Uh, dry times yung height na 6 plus yung uh, po yan for submerge times 13. So, pwede rin ganito. So, kung susubukan mo yan, yung makukuha mo is, ito pa rin 221.72. So, I hope klaro tayo dito. No? Example, effective stress at point D is, uh, we have 16.5 times 6 plus 19.25 minus 9.81 times 13. Using lang. Dito na lang. Effective stress at point D. 16.5 times 6 plus uh, 19.25 minus 9.81 times 13. So, thus, yung effective stress uh, is just equal to. Ito na lang natin. So, we have a 16.5 times 6 plus uh, 19.25 minus 9.81 times 13 yan, the same, 221.72 so this is 221.72 kilopascal so, ganun lang, na? So, ito naman yung stress diagram. 
so see so see you in the next video thank you